Safety front and center tonight in Waterville. The city installing a new set of cameras placed strategically in an effort at tightening public safety. News 10 ABC's Michaela Singleton sharing reaction from residents and business owners. Folks here say they love living and working in Waterville, but everywhere has its problems. Waterville is not, a, to me, a hot zone area, you know, but it also you know, needs to be monitored, especially with the traffic. I've had some of my plants taken from outside, you know, just like your regular things that would happen in the city, you know, just things going on and we try to just keep our eyes open. Luckily now there's a few dozen extra eyes all over the city to help them out. Waterville leaders announced Thursday successfully installing more than 70 new cameras, around half a dozen license plate readers and new computers that monitor traffic, flag license plates during wanted or missing persons bulletins and let police spot patterns around busy roads and parks. The upgrades of those computers provides each one of them the ability to monitor these cameras. So the software was put on those cameras so any officer at any time can log in and look at those cameras. Mayor Charles Petricelli says they've spent the last year and a half dodging COVID slowdowns, but the majority of the cameras are already up and have so far proved successful in several cases, from minor nuisance complaints all the way up to drug and gun crimes. It makes me feel safer to know that there's, you know, eyes around to kind of Keep watch on everything that's happening. I think that that's a perfectly good idea, especially around the parks with the young kids. The $250,000 for the project coming from a state municipal facilities grant. Assemblyman John McDonald offering his support, saying people should feel safe living here and feel safe visiting here. This is areas where the community gathers on a regular basis. People want to be able to gather in a community of safety. And Waterville is that community. Reporting in Waterville, Michaela Singleton, News 10 ABC.